48 degrees right now, and time for us to visit and probe deeply. What's on the mind of Matthew Archbold? Matt, how are you? We missed you last week. Yeah, I, I actually didn't get your email until about 8.30, hey. and I was sitting there waiting for the phone call, and then I was like, let me <laughs> check my email. Uh, <laughs> I think I emailed you like the day before. You ever check oh, your know. email? <laughs> yeah, they, 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 but the thing is, if you don't get it right away, they just start getting buried. And yeah. then you don't go. Then you don't go far enough. Anyway, I. I well, what, I, what I'd here. hate to you're, see, you're just... I'd hate to see like you get a, an email that starts off, uh, uh, you know. Uh, uh, this is your publisher, and uh, we, we uh, yeah. uh, if you read <laughs> back to us in the right amount of time, we've approved your book. If not, <laughs> I want to get I want to get to know one Matthew Archibald just a little bit better. Uh, as we look in history, we all can uh, we all know where we were in particular times uh, that big things happened in our own lifetimes: the landing on the moon a little bit before me, the death of Elvis, uh, the explosion of the space shuttle Challenger, things like that. Where were you, Matthew Archibald? when Fonzie jumped the shark? Oh, I was cross-legged on the floor in front of, like, probably eight inches from the television. Yeah. And and thinking Fonzie was just about the coolest guy since John Wayne. Yep, makes sense. <laughs> that's, that's what I would have guessed. <laughs> Matthew, the world <laughs> is, is crazy. Everything Hold is on. crazy. And Dave, I have minority... failed as a parent. I have failed <laughs> have as a failed. parent. Okay. <laughs> I have failed. Yeah. Okay, I can't wait to hear this. Yeah. One, uh, we weren't betting on that or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, my son calls me out of the blue. Now, he's in his you know first year at college, and he calls and says, Hey, Dad, he talks to me for a little while. And I was like, so what's going on? And he's like, listen, uh... You, know, you always know you're getting to the part where they say, listen, uh, <laughs> yeah. he says, hey, how does a whole old man in the sea end? We have a test tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, I failed in creating a son that does. An old man in the sea is so small. Like, you yeah. could read that in an afternoon. <laughs> okay? <laughs> but think about yourself as a child. Would I have ever oh called my, my dad and said, hey, dad, I know you're spending thousands and thousands of dollars on my college, mm. but, uh, you know, when he has YouTube available, yeah. <laughs> but he thought there were no repercussions at all to calling me, admitting he's derelict in his duty <laughs> and just asking me flat out. So uh, I told him that, that in the end, the old man gets his power back. And he flies off to his home planet. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> How'd you do on the test there, son? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'll be taken in about an hour. Yeah. So. <laughs> Very good. Well, at least, you know, you're not uh, threatened with jail and having your kids ripped away from you uh, like those uh, parents in Indiana uh, who refuse to acknowledge the And uh, Illinois you know, gender now. Change. Oh, man. This yeah, is Illinois, crazy. Illinois is seeking to change the definition of an abused child, quote unquote, to one that includes parents who don't believe that the child has swapped genders oh, or that they limit the child's access to abortion. Oh, my goodness. Like, this is insane. I mean, what they're essentially saying is if you're a Christian and you actually believe this stuff, we could take your child away. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's where we are. You know, with. You know, the, the slippery slope is no more. We are in, in free fall. And, you know, and with there's, and the other thing is these parents, this is Indiana. You know, if I told you that a, a child was taken away because they refused to acknowledge that their son was now their daughter, mm. and that happened in California, you'd right. shrug. You'd be like, well, you know, what are you going to do? It's California. Yeah. But that's the thing. These people are getting into power everywhere. This is Indiana. The heartland like, of America. Yeah, and and this is happening everywhere, and 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 soon it really is getting to the point where you're going to have to make a decision: am I a Christian or or am I an American? Because the two things will not be compatible, and that's a horrible, sad, tragic thing to say. Okay. Yeah, and without intervention, I mean, where do we go? As you said, we're on this slippery slope, and we're pretty far down the doggone slope, and you think you can't go any further. But what is further? I mean, if there is an intervention, we're going to keep going down. Right. And, and it just keeps getting worse. Like, that's the thing. I can't even imagine what's next. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, just just more of this, and and you know they're going to shock us when with the next thing. It's just going to be oh yeah, I didn't even see that that one coming, but it will. It, it, it's such an important time for people to hang on to their faith right now. Yeah. Harken it, it, back to 1990 when we thought everything was so horrible, and all we want now is to go back to 1990. Yeah, really. It's it's funny people do, or already uh, I've heard that a number of times. Like they're hearkening back to like 1990 as like peak America. Yeah. You know that they're saying you know like we we really felt like we were past all all the the terrible strife of the civil rights and mm. you know that that we were we were starting to. Uh, you know, just get better, you know, creating that, establishing that more perfect union. Like we were all working together, but it's just all falling apart. And it's falling apart on purpose because they want it to fall apart. You know, mm. you know, that's why the, the borders are completely open. That's why abortion clinics are allowed to stay open during COVID mm-hmm. and churches are closed. It, you know, yeah. it's, just, it's all by design. Yeah. And, mm. and if it's, it's not by design. It's from worldview. You know, it's, yeah. it's not like they're they're planning it all out, but it's the worldview. It's like, oh well, what's important? Well, abortion clinics are obviously important, but close mm-hmm. the churches. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. let's get rid of them. So true. And, you know, I saw a thing the other day, and I'll make this quick. In Korea, okay, so there's been a worldwide birth dearth. Like people are just not having children. Right. And we are we have fallen below replacement rate. I mm. mean, our population in America is dwindling. In Korea, South Korea, the the one we're allies with, yeah. for every hundred people, okay, that exist right now, their great grandchildren will be there'll be four of them. Oh my goodness! Mm. And that that's true. I I've done the research, and it's true. You're going from a hundred to four. Their mm. replacement rate is well below point one. Wow! And it it's just so. So yeah. frightening. Whew, self-extinction. I mean, if you want I mean, to be blessed with life, you've got to believe it's sacred, right? Yeah. Exactly. Mm. We are made in the image and likeness. Be mm. fruitful and multiply, my friends. That's mm. right. Amen. Get out there. <laughs> uh, good news and bad news on creativeminorityreport.com, so check it out. Matthew Archbold, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. God bless. We'll be right back.